Welcome to Foods and Flavors. This is Shilpi. Today I'm back with another quick and delicious recipe, Bindi Do Piazza. This restaurant style curry or sabzi recipe is very easy to do and taste awesome. It is called Bindi Do Piazza as we are going to use onions twice in this recipe. So let me show you how to make this yummy Bindi Do Piazza. Here is the ingredient list. You can also see it with the detailed recipe and tips and tricks in my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com Let's start roasting the bhindi or okra. For this I have already heated the pan at medium heat. Now I'll pour some oil. Add 2-3 whole dry red chilies. And let the chilies cook for few seconds. Now I'll add 2 and a half cup of chopped okra or bhindi which I have washed and cut in about 1 inch pieces. Saute the okra and spread it all over the pan so that they get nicely roasted. I'll add little salt. Do not add too much of salt as we are going to add little salt in the gravy later. Mix everything and cover the bhindi. We will cook them till they are almost half done. In between I'll saute them couple of times. It might take 7 to 8 minutes till bhindis are half done. It's about 8 minutes. Bhindi looks good now. I'll add half cup of onions which I have cut in big square pieces. I'll keep cooking them in open for 4 to 5 minutes so that onion gets some color. It's almost 5 minutes. It looks like onions and okra are nicely roasted and crispy. Now I'll take it away from the heat and now let's make the gravy. For this I'll add some oil in the pan and add cumin seeds and saute them. Now I'll add 1 cup of thin sliced onions. Saute the onions. Add salt in between. Cover it and cook it for 5 to 6 minutes. You may need to saute a couple of times in between to avoid it burning. Now the onions look light brown in color. I'll add 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. Mix it well and cook it for some more time. Now let's add spices. Here is half teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'll mix it with onions. Now I'll add 2 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of red chili powder and mix all the spices together. Now I'll add 2 tablespoon of thick yogurt or curd and mix it with the spices and onions. Keep stirring it otherwise curd will curdle. We will cook this till masala loses oil. As you can see oil is coming out of the masala. I'll add slit green chilies and little water and let the masala cook till it loses oil again. Here I want to make sure that onions are fully cooked and well blended with masala as we don't want these onions to be separate from the gravy. Now the masala is losing oil, I'll add some more water. I am not adding too much of water as we want little thick gravy. Now I'll let the gravy boil for some time. Once the gravy is boiling, I'll add onions and bhindi and mix everything together. We will cook the veggies only for 5 to 6 minutes as we want bhindi to be little crisp in this recipe. It's almost 5 minutes. I'll add garam masala and mix everything. Now I'll squeeze some fresh lemon juice and some fine chopped coriander leaves and mix everything. Bhindi to piazza is ready to be served. Enjoy this Bhindi to piazza with parathas, rice or roti. Hope you like it. For more recipes you can visit my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com or you can visit my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Till then, happy cooking.